I just want to touch on uh, a few issues, and that is because I know you're strong enough to, to deal with the issues and to help us. The first relates to the NGOs. You were asked about uh, your membership of an NGO. Tell me if I'm wrong, and I've said it in one of the judgments that I have written. One gets a sense that NGOs show their hand when there is something to challenge about how the country is run, but hardly ever when issues like incidents of racism show up, incidents of employment equity arise, like two stories that I've cited having read in the newspaper of a black person, same qualifications with a white person, in the corporate sector, experiencing a margin of underpayment that goes up to 20,000 rands. Even if the black man, and I am restricted to males, is highly qualified than a white male, and also a white woman never earns the same uh, in, in those, some of these corporate, uh, in, the, in the corporate, some of these companies, never earns the same salary as a, as a white uh, colleague, but will certainly earn more than uh, a, a black man who in turn earns more than a black woman. It doesn't matter how experienced you are. That is the one issue that I'm raising. I, I wonder why. The NGOs never say anything or challenge these things in a, in a court of law to say there's resistance to the implementation of employment equity, the management of, the, of our companies, big companies, has been uh, too white and male for a long time. No voice is heard. And uh, so the, I'm talking about NGOs. And it, you know the relevance? As a judge, when these things come before you, the, your world outlook is likely to inform how you deal with cases relating to these matters when they come before you. And two, I don't see much activism relating to land redistribution. I don't see much activism, say, uh, relating to, well, how do we make sure that to the extent that much of the land is in the hands of uh, our white compatriots, what needs to be done? Let's find a solution, or let's challenge some of the problems that might be there. And finally, I don't see much activism from the NGOs in relation to ensuring that there is meaningful participation in the economy of this country, also by the previously disadvantaged, including women. Why, am I mistaken? Or is that the reality as you have experienced it? And if so, why? And again, I must under, 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 uh, explain this by saying, as a judge, you are expected to be conscious of the injustices of the past and play a role as and when the facts and the law allow you to, to help heal the country by rendering just judgments that will, that will normalize the otherwise abnormal situation that obtains in South Africa. Do you have a comment there? Well, I suppose my I'm not blaming you. No, I'm no, just no. saying, uh, is my observation right or wrong? Yes. 